everyone. So this is a quick little update, very exciting news coming your way. So I don't know if you've heard it or not yet, but I'll put the links below, have a look. But there is a Strictly NHS. I know if you're on my Twitter, if you're on my Instagram, if you're on my Facebook, you will know about this because <laughs> I've been posting all about it. But if you don't know, it is for charity, obviously for our NHS charity. They're raising money for an amazing cause, of course, and they're doing a Strictly version and they wanted applicants from the NHS to apply. So obviously I've applied, haven't I? <laughs> At the time when I applied, I was thinking, wow, what amazing cause. This is an amazing challenge. This would be amazing. Apply, done, got through to the next round what so they um they were looking for two they had 2000 applications and they narrowed it down to 100 now so now i've got to send in another application to be in the final 12 but when i applied i didn't think about the dancing side of it and i i can't dance guys i know people say oh i can't dance and secretly they're all right I literally cannot dance. I have two left feet. My type of dancing is back in the day when I was a bit younger and, you know, out in a club and a bit drunk and I'd be like, yay, that's my type of dancing. Like, I don't care. I'm just like, woo, like a little fairy dancing around. I can't dance properly. I, my posture, well, look at me now, for example. Look at this. This is my posture. Like, I should be sitting like this. I should have floaty arms and no, <laughs> it's just can't dance guys um i need to sort my posture out my fitness out because i'm really really unfit i'm not gonna lie i walk up my stairs and i get really breathless anyone that saw me do the snowden challenge will know this or any type of fitness challenge that i've done in the past will know this i'm very unfit i can't dance this is going to be the biggest challenge i've ever done i think other than the transition from student to newly qualified nurse um this is going to be the toughest but on a plus side, because I can't dance and I've got bad posture, I'm going to be hopefully be, if I get through, hopefully be that person that you see grow, that you see start off as a bit rubbish. And then by the end of it, I'll be like, yes, like this floating angel on the dance floor. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Anyway, it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited for it, despite not being able to dance and it's going to be horrific. And I'm going to really probably throw up a few times because yeah, that's what happens when you push yourself. It's exciting. I'm really excited to raise um, money for an amazing cause. This is an amazing idea as well. I think it's the best. I do have to go up to Blackpool for it. So I'm not sure how that's going to work at the minute, but I don't have to think about it anyway till the end of the year because we've got until I think the 1st of December, first week of December sometime is when they announce the final 12. And then I'm assuming they will get to dancing and practicing and the shows and everything. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work. But basically, I've got time, guys, to figure it out. Don't worry. But it is for an amazing cause. And I'm going to really challenge and push myself. And if I have to take annual leave to get some extra days off, that's fine. I will do that because, again, it's for an amazing cause. So if I get through, guys, you all have to vote for me. No matter how bad I am, forget the badness, vote for me, come on. <laughs> so on other news, today is day three of self-isolation for me, I know. Um, I did come into close contact with someone that has tested positive for COVID. So now I'm having to self-isolate. I've been tested, but they have recommended that you still self-isolate regardless of your results. Um, my test results were negative. I've literally had them back, so... Uh, but just as a precaution, because it can take the 14 days to develop COVID and for test positive and all that jazz, um, you do have to self-isolate just as a precaution. So that is what I'm doing. So I have a couple of weeks off now. So I'm going to be trying to get some vlogs out there. I'm going to possibly start making um, my placement packs again. I know I had some PDF versions online because of covid and the pandemic and everything getting to post office and things like that however since i've got a couple of weeks off i might just start physically making them again and then put them aside obviously clean them put them aside wait for a couple of weeks and then in a couple of weeks time i can post them out to people does that sound good yes maybe and i'm also because i've been saying for ages now that i'm going to make different ones like for community nursing gp and things like that so i really need to look at that over the next couple of weeks and get those set up as well so watch this space hopefully i will get my 
bum in motivation gear over this next two weeks and do some cards and student placement packs and whatnot. Anyway, I will put the links as always in my YouTube channel in the little community bit. And once they're done, I'll also post them on my Instagram, Twitter, all of that jazz. So keep an eye out and watch this space. And there is a couple of other exciting things happening, but I can't discuss them right this minute, unfortunately. But when I can, I will absolutely tell you all about it. So the one potentially I could tell you next week and the other one, I'm not going to be able to say anything until October, a month. Get ready. Wait for it, guys. It's going to be like a big poo. <laughs> So that is it from me. I just wanted to do like a quick little update. If there's any vlogs you want me to desperately do, ha firstly, have a look at my other vlogs because I might have already done it because I know a lot of people have been asking about um, applications and interviews and stuff like that. But I have done previous vlogs all about that. So have a look first. If there's anything I haven't covered and you think, oh, this would be really good. I really want to know this or could you cover this or whatever not Brexit. Someone asked about Brexit. I'm so sorry, but I haven't got a clue. I don't know about work regulations and Brexit. I haven't got a clue. I'm just a nurse, guys. <laughs> Brexit confuses me. So does this pandemic and the laws and regulations that... Pff, yeah, I'm not going to speak about that on a vlog because it's way too political. But yes, if there's anything else you would like to see, anything nursing related, um, placement student life whatever you want to know let me know below and i will do that if there's anything i've said i was going to do and i haven't done yet please remind me because i'm really bad at this and remembering to do different types of vlogs i need to get a list and start writing things down again because my memory is just whew. yeah but let me know guys and i hope you're all okay and having a great day and i'm so so sorry I know there's a lot of people really struggling right now with the placements and everything is just horrific for some of you. So I'm really, really sorry that you've been treated this way. And I'm really, really sorry that things aren't going to plan with the opt-in and the opt-out and the placement allocations and everything just seems a mess right now. So I'm really, really sorry. It's got to get better. Fingers crossed. Come on. You can get through this. You can get through this. You can get through anything. So hopefully it's all going to be all right. But yes, big, ab absolute big loves and big hugs. You are absolutely not alone. So reach out if you need that support. And yeah, thank you as always. I'll see you next time.